Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two sparkling carbonated waters from Shasta. First up is Shasta Seltzer Sparkling Water. Next up is Shasta Sparkling Water. This is draft root beer flavored in a can. And these are both from the store, the Fresh Market. The big one was like a dollar twenty, I think. And this case of cans, I think it's a 12 pack, was four dollars and thirty cents, I think. Something like that. Both pretty reasonably priced. I'm in Park City, Utah right now. It's like an expensive area. Everything at the grocery store is pretty expensive, so these are pretty reasonably priced compared to everything else in the store. And I've never heard of Shasta before. Maybe I have. It sounds kind of familiar. It's a neat name. It's good, good branding, I guess, but I've never heard of it before. Maybe it's like a West Coast thing. Yeah, this is a company based out of California, and it's a simple, you know, Red Bull height can, and it's got the colored pull tab on it. So I'm just going to drink them and tell you which one I think tastes the best. Let's gonna move on to round two. This is root beer flavored water. I've never had that before. I've never even heard of that before. Um, it does have zero calories and zero carbs and zero sugar. And this one has zero sodium. This plain one actually has 25 milligrams of sodium per serving, which is kind of weird, isn't it? That the one with less flavor has, um, has more sodium. Isn't that weird? How do they have more flavor in this and less sodium? It's just weird to me. It's interesting. It's like, it tastes like root beer, but without the sugar. It's, it's actually really good. It's, um, I've never had root beer water before. It's, it's good. It goes down pretty smooth. Good amount of carbonation. Like an equivalent amount of like a Coke, uh, the amount of carbonation. That's good. They also had other 12 packs of um, flavors. They had uh, California orange flavor and I think a few others. And they also had like, I think Shasta tonic water and other Shasta brands. And it says it's been around since 1889, so about 129 years they've been around. It's a pretty old company. That was weird. Um, very carbonated, apparently. Very, very carbonated. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, very carbonated, very bubbly. Still bubbling up there. Um, this store is about a mile away, and I carried it home in my backpack, so maybe it shook it up a little bit. <sighs> Excuse me, but that was very like explosive. <laughs> Holy crap. There's a puddle of water on the floor, and my shorts are all wet now. Jeez. This is tough, because this has like a unique flavor, and it's good tasting, but this is more of like a watery water. This is just, just carbonated water. It's the only ingredient in this. So usually I lean towards the one that's more pure water, but I just think this one's so much more like interesting and unique tasting. I'm going to say that this one is the winner the root beer, draft root beer flavor. This one also kind of just gets one point subtracted from the score because of the exploding water. Um, there's an iPad right there, it's all wet. <laughs> all right, here's a little interesting prank idea, experiment I have an idea for. What happens if I put this root beer water in this humidifier. <laughs> this is supposed to just turn water into mist and steam and humidify the room. 
I wonder if it will smell like root beer. This is kind of a prank on my parents. It's their room. <laughs> They're gone right now. So will they have root beer smelling air when they come back? <laughs> uh, yeah, it does smell like root beer. It just smells like there's a bunch of open cans of root beer in here. <laughs>